Lucky enough to get the rematch. I really, really like playing against the Warriors. I was gonna play Imp Gang, but you play the Acolyte, so I'll expedite my play. Please don't get the Imp Gang boss. Wow. This guy's so brave. Just kills the Void Colors. Like it ain't no thing. This time around he likely has an execute for the uh... Oh, but the thing is, he... but... oh well, he's still... it's fine. No. Had of a surprise. Five seven will get value by killing a five five. <sighs> Stupid Melganus. This is not your time on the stage. If I knew I was going to get the Doom Guard, I would definitely sack. But as stands, I'll keep the stickiness around. Or maybe I should take the chance anyways. Suppose I get Melganus out. Then what? I'll play Lothab. That blocks him from no, it doesn't block him. Makes him spend his whole turn removing Melganus. No, he could just play a BGH. But when am I going to get a better deal? Alright, if I get the Melganus, I'll throw the Lothab out. No, I'll play the Shredder. Ah, please, Doom Guard. I hope he doesn't have the BGH. I've got the beast in my <sighs> he wouldn't have any idea that I'm getting such bad rolls. Okay, so he has possibly 17 damage, but 17 is not lethal. Wait, 19 damage. 19 is lethal. So How did I miscount that? My seal for our I actually don't feel great about this match. My hand is small, his hand's kind of big. I mean, the Melganis getting BGH is a really big tempo play on his side. After all. So my choice of either playing Reno Jackson or Healbot, I think I'm going to go with Reno Jackson because it uh, is bigger. Yes, he can play Alexstrasza, but I do have Healbot. So many if I play Healbot now, I will go up to 20. And he might play Alexstrasza into that as well. But the thing is, I'd rather have a 4-6. Oh, Molten Giant. Alright, I have to play Healbot then. Didn't use his weapon, he's gonna let me 3-3 three, three into the 6-3. It's really good for me. So the most he can do is uh 16 damage. So many possibilities. Brimming 
With the death spite out of the way, his burst is now limited to 14 damage. Okay, wait. Uh, now he can do 15 damage. The Dark Peddler first. Reduce the amount of good stuff. The Void Walker can be really good for the late game as a block Gromish card. Could even play it now to uh, reduce the chances of it stealing something good. But I don't think that's necessary. I get hit on the face, I'll have to play my Void Walker. I can't tap because 15 is how much he can do with um, Gromish, Taskmaster, Axe. If I miss this and Demon Wrath, then I play BGH Taunt. I missed, which means I have to do this. And this? I don't believe he plays any Whirlwind effects. Just have to assume like he's got two face up cards in his hand. Taskmaster plus Gromish, and the game is all about tiptoeing around that. Also, I should assume one of his face-up cards is Alex Straza. So every single turn that I play a taunt, I don't have to... Oh, Sludge Bells are fantastic. I can even tap here, right? Good, Lord Jaraxxus. I will gladly play Jaraxxus to get out of 14 damage range. I don't believe there's anything that can go wrong, but I'll do a quick sanity check. Um, Gromish, Taskmaster, he hasn't played Thorasan. Nothing can go wrong. Enter. Because any removal costs one mana, like it'd be a shield slam for this. You can wait. Can right, yes, yes. I'm correct. He hasn't played Harrison Jones yet, so. I need to uh, actually not play Lord Jaraxxus. Almost made a blunder there. That's one of the few ways they could come back to this game. I really want to play Emperor Thorastan, so I guess I'll send these two in. I should get shield slammed. I haven't played Shadow Flame. I'll play Lord Jaraxxus near the end. Okay, there's the Taskmaster. So that means his burst is now maximum 4 damage with Gromish. <sighs> Make sure that I'm correct. He can't shield slam Gromish. He can't Gromish and remove my 1-2 ooze. It's not like I want to tap right now though. So I believe I play Sylvanas and I pass. This is actually one of the games where I might run out of threats. I have no time for games. But Lord Jaraxxus will provide a constant influx of threats. Actually, since his burst is now really sm I should just play Reno Jackson. It's a threat. But then he brawls. Maybe the uh, 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 I don't think I'm gonna no, play it. I'm not gonna die, and I'm I'm mostly afraid of rolling away a four six. That's the hesitation. 
Because it's more important as a 4 6 right now than it is as like a, a heal. And I can't play Lord Drax just because he plays Harrison James. So attack, 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 pass. play um, Lord Draxus at one point or another, but it should be as late as possible. It, it's probably next turn, in fact. He just played his Brawl, so now I can play the Void Doctor if I want, but I'll pass for now. Sarah would be my Siphon Souls target. Which means I don't play Lord Draxus on this turn. It could also be Owl. But man. Threat. I can play a uh, Voidwalker to block this damage. I actually think I don't attack him with uh, Draxus because then that means Inferno. Uh, that means Harrison Jones is less is less good. Um. Actually, let me think about it. Suppose he draws 7. That would put him 4 into fatigue, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 7, 10 damage. I'll take 10. He's from. Eh, I should attack him. Harrison Jones is not enough at this point. I played him late enough. I don't think he has any way to enrage. Oh, he has a shield slam. Oh, well, he has three cards left in the deck, so I take two the next turn. So that means if I was at 11, 11 is okay. Don't want a shadow flame, but yet I feel I must. Yeah, I'll play this. What if I Shadow Flame the Bird? Oh, that might have been better. Shadow Flame Bird, Demon Wrath, Dark Bomb, Mortal Coil. I have 6, 12, 15, 20, 20. The thing is, Dark Bomb is 3 instant, 6. Mm. I think I might have lost. Well, I need the bottom card of his deck to be Grumish or Shield Slam, basically. I wonder if he was playing. Oh no! No, if I have all the armor reduced from him every single turn, then he can't play armor up Gromish Shield Slam. Oh, that works too. I bring life. One, three, six, eight, and then.
Okay, so his deck is Gromish plus Harrison Jones. So I win. Because I just played him. Too close. Hmm. 